You know, and finally, the musical Hamilton's run in Detroit is coming to an end. It has been a thrill for theater fans to see one of the most transformative shows from Broadway during its stay at the Fisher. Well, one of the producers, Jeffrey Seller, is from Metro Detroit. And he sat down with Bridge Magazine's Chastity Pratt for a conversation on how this art form has affected the way people take in U.S. history, plus Jeffrey's support of the arts here in Detroit. Jeffrey Seller, welcome home. Thank you. I love being here. You have this show with a diverse cast, people of color. Talk a little bit about how, how that affects the audience, how that affects the artistry, our understanding of history. Um, Hamilton is so organically correct in that it was always obvious to us um, that George Washington would be played by an African-American man, that Thomas Jefferson would be a man of color. What is so satisfying to me is that we have created a show that is about America yesterday told by America today, because that enables every audience member, white, black, brown, whatever, to look up on that stage and say, that's my story too. It's interesting that you would bring Hamilton here right now because at the African American History Museum right now, there's the, the Paradox of Liberty exhibit and it's been problematic because it deals with Jefferson. Are we dealing with history in a different way by bringing in these, you know, these characters of color are we um, just making it more accessible? I think that Hamilton is absolutely exploring the possibility of what America can be while it's simultaneously showing us in theatrical ironic terms what it was not. So well, we have a black say, hey, man look, playing Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson who was a slave, black. who was a slave holder. The fact that he wasn't black is less interesting to me than the fact that we have a black man playing him and he was a slave holder. And that is powerful. And that is complicated. It's complicated. And that may create cognitive dissonance for um, white audience members who don't think he should be played by a black man, and for black audiences who say, how could a black man portray that slaveholder? And I think that we are in a moment where we are thinking about the sins of our past, the sins of slavery, the, the conversation about reparations is starting to enter mm -hmm. our dialogue. Mm -hmm. And to the degree that Hamilton is part of that dialogue, I am happy. Hamilton can't tell every story. It can't explore every issue. And it touches on it, but it doesn't do a deep dive in it. And um, now the question is, what vehicles can we use to take that deep dive into America's sin? It's a complicated cognitive experience, right? And kids love it because of the music. Yeah. Let's talk about kids. How, what kind of a, a effect are you looking for with your younger audience? Well, kids love it because of the music. Yes. Kids love it because of the dancing. Kids love it, um, and kids of color love it because they feel like, okay, I'm part of the story too. That's me up there. I am part of the American story. And I think that's very, very valuable. On the topic of kids, we can't let you get out of here without talking about that huge donation to Mosaic, a program that serves children, uh, mostly African-American children of color, yes. um, a million dollars, the biggest donation to a nonprofit like this we've seen. Why'd you do it? Why this organization? I know from my own experience the power of theater to transform a life. The work that Mosaic is doing with these kids is, it's like saving the world. 